We were working on prostate cancer, specifically on a uh, genetic fusion, a uh, mutation that's acquired in the course of disease development, which consists of fusing two genes together. That fusion is found in about 50% of patients. And what we discovered was that that fusion was sufficient to change the identity of the tumor, to change its chromatin landscape, specifically changing the way gene expression is regulated such that genes that should be turned off were now turned on and vice versa. So this discovery actually brings us a step closer towards uh, personalized cancer medicine for patients that have this fusion, as now we can not only offer them the standard of care treatment, but also conceive adding in a new treatment in the near future that would exploit the additional biology that specifically arises due to the fusion. So the fusion gives rise to an overexpression of an oncogene, and that oncogene actually acts as what we call a transcription factor. Transcription factors are proteins that can read the DNA in our cells. And so that new transcription factor, by being overexpressed, suddenly was reading more than what should normally be read in the genome of those prostate cancer cells. And so that meant that a new set of regions were being read, and that translated into what I like to call light switches and dimmers being turned on as they can regulate the expression of other genes. And so the identity of, uh, of samples derived from patients that were with the fusion actually had a new identity compared to the cases which don't have that fusion between these two genes. I am Mathieu Dupien, senior scientist at the Princess Margaret Cancer Center.